Hi, I'm Steve Jones, and I'm going to look into the story of the invention of mathematics. First of all, we have to decide what mathematics is. And did Neanderthal man actually use mathematics? Well, of course, yes, essentially he did. But he didn't formalize it. And he didn't create any symbols for it, as far as we know. But if he killed a deer, and drew on a rock somewhere a picture of a deer, is that mathematics or is it art? Well, I think I would say it's art. But certainly the Neanderthal man did know about mathematics because, of course, he knew that one deer a year was not enough to feed his family. He would have to kill more deer. The question was, could he represent it in some way and explain it to somebody so they could understand it. He would have to have some kind of formal system. We acknowledge that the real formal systems were developed around 4,000 years ago, or maybe a little bit earlier, depending on which history you look at, where we are talking about mathematical relationships. And we are sure that the Greeks and the Babylonians, the Chinese, Indians, and so on, all had systems of number. They all have had ways of operating one number on the other. And they had ways of representing these numbers on paper, or on stone, or on papyrus, or on whatever, or on clay, usually. So yes, by the time we've got Greeks and Romans, we certainly have a mathematics. But earlier on, the concepts existed but those concepts were not formalized.